Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has decided to close the Temple Mount to Jewish visitors and tourists until the end of Ramadan. Our Jerusalem correspondent Daniel Cohen is live in the Old City with more. Good morning, Daniel. Hey, good morning, Allison, and good morning, everyone. Starting today, because of security concerns, no Jewish wor uh, worshipers will be allowed on the Temple Mount, where the ancient temples once stood in the capital of the Jewish state, as declared by King David 3,000 years ago. Earlier this week, Israeli police escorted dozens of Jews celebrating Passover around the compound. They walked, they took pictures. I believe we have that picture uh, video for you. Uh, what they didn't do, though, is pray. It's illegal for Jews to pray on the Temple Mount, or anyone else for that matter, in keeping with the delicate status quo. The decision to restrict Jewish access during Ramadan for safety, now that's not new, though it was recommended by Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, who Netanyahu decided on Monday not to fire for speaking out publicly against the proposed judicial reform. There were disagreements between us, even severe disagreements on some issues. But I decided to leave the disagreements behind us. Galat remains in his position, and we will continue to work together for the security of the citizens of Israel. Hamas, the Iranian-backed terror group, has called on supporters to flock to Al-Aqsa, the mosque on the Temple Mount, and not leave. Israeli security forces have arrested, this is them raiding, hundreds of Muslim rioters who barricaded themselves inside with Molotov cocktails, stones, fireworks. Netanyahu says he's committed to the status quo so Muslims and Jews who visit the Western Wall can pray in peace. Israel's Orthodox security minister called Netanyahu's decision to close the Temple Mount a serious mistake that will not bring peace but may only escalate the situation. Allison, there are 10 days left in Ramadan and the last few days have been relatively peaceful. Yeah, well, that's Allison, good. All right, Daniel Cohen, thank you so much. Sure.